Hey guys, now I'm going to show you guys about my first level. So before we do that, I do level reviews and I do streams of viewers levels. So drop your codes and let me know which levels y'all want me to play. Now let's look at this level. I already have like created some stages, but they're not fully done yet and they're not uploaded. But this one is, so y'all be able to check the code at the end of the video. Y'all can see it, y'all can play the level. You know, star it for me or whatever, and y'all could do that. But here's the stage, basically. So basically, the stage I wanted to have a design of like islands being everywhere. Like I said before, you want to think about like a factory or something like that, so you don't really have to think about the layout of your stage. It's easier to create like layouts for your stage if you think about an environment before you start. So that way, it's easier placing that first tile. So I thought about it being an island because I really wanted to use slopes. So here the main gimmick of the stage is these creepers. You have to get over these creepers. Every island has a basically a different challenge and you have to use these creepers to get over the challenge. Some of these creepers are just here for design just like the fire flowers here. So obviously you want to use the creepers to get across everything like right here. You have to spin jump, jump on this creeper, and then jump up here just to get this pink coin. So that's one of the mechanics of the stage. You have to use your different techniques of 3D world to actually get across certain areas. Like right here, you have to long jump from here to here to get over to here. Right here. So, one thing I wanted to do is that I want to start creating like narrative structures to my stages. So at the bottom of the stage, I wanted to have like piranha creepers. They were going to be longer underwater. Like they actually gain more, you know, length and, and girth and growth underwater. All the uh, plants underwater were going to be bigger and, you know, stronger. So I didn't want to do the reason why I didn't do that in this stage is that I didn't want to make the stage too easy and have these piranha plants smaller and have these creepers smaller on, on the stage. I wanted it to, to be, you know, mildly, you know, normal challenge, not really too tough, not really too hard. So you had to use the different mechanics to get over certain obstacles. Like right here, you have to basically spin jump to get over him. He's going to shoot this fire down. You got to spin jump here, jump on him. So this is basically the stage. You can tell I put a lot of work into everything. There's a high route, middle route, and low route. I'll talk about that in another video. The trees are here to make everything look more, you know, foresty. That's not a word, but you know. Anyway, so here I want to show y'all a mechanic of the stage that I figured out, like right here. So basically, this fire piranha plant falls on this creeper, and you see it before you come over, and you're like, what the freak? So after that, you know, you come over here. And he can actually shoot you. Fire. He actually has three hit points now that he's on top of that thing. So it's like they started growing throughout the stage that they start getting fire piranha plants on top of them. Anyway, this is the stage. Now I'm about to show you guys the code so y'all can play the stage. So I'm very glad you have clicked on this video. Now I do level reviews. I do this level so up in the comments. And hit the notification bell so y'all can get my videos the first second. Anyway, here's the code. I'll see you guys another time.